Welcome back to Reading Destination. I'm so happy you came back for another story. Today, we're going to read Going West by Laura Ingalls Wilder and illustrated by Renee Graf. Once upon a time, a little girl named Laura lived in the big woods of Wisconsin in a little house made of logs. Laura lived in the little house with her pa, her ma, her big sister Mary, her baby sister Carrie, and their good old bulldog Jack. Many people had come to live in the big woods. Almost every day, Laura and Mary stopped their playing to look in surprise at a wagon slowly creaking by. That was before there were cars. Wild animals would not stay in a place where there were so many people. Pa did not want to stay either. He liked places where wild animals could live without being afraid. He liked to see the deer looking at him from the shadowy woods and the fat, lazy bears eating berries in the wild berry patches. Yummy. You like berries? Me too. One long winter evening, Pa told Ma that he was going to take the family to live in the West. In the West, there were not as many people. There were no trees, and the grass grew thick and high. So, Pa sold the little house in the big woods. He sold the cow and calf, too. Pa made hickory bows and fastened them to the wagon. Ma helped him stretch white canvas over the bows to make a covered wagon for the family to travel in. Then they packed up everything in the little house, except for the beds and tables and chairs. They did not need to take these because Pa could always make new ones. Then one morning before it was even light outside, Ma gently shook Mary and Laura until they woke up. Laura and Mary put on their long red flannel underwear, their wool petticoats and wool dresses, and their long wool stockings. Next, they put on their coats, their rabbit skin hoods, and their red yarn mittens. Outside the little house, there was snow on the ground and the air was still and cold and dark. Through the gray woods came lanterns with wagons and horses, bringing grandma and grandpa and aunts and uncles and cousins. Mary and Laura held on tightly to their dolls and did not say a word. Grandma and the aunts hugged them and kissed them and kissed them and hugged them, saying goodbye. It's hard to say goodbye, isn't it? The uncles helped Pa hitch the horses to the wagon. All the cousins were told to kiss Laura and Mary, and so they did. Then Pa picked up Mary and Laura and set them in the wagon. He helped Ma climb up onto the wagon seat and Grandma reached up and gave her baby Carrie. Off went the wagon and the little house in the big woods stayed inside the log fence behind the big trees that Mary and Laura liked to play under. And that was the last they saw of the little house. The family had a long journey ahead of them, but Pa was on the wagon seat and Jack was under the wagon, and Laura felt happy knowing they were on their way to another little house, a little house on the western prairie. The End
That's such a nice story. When I was a little girl, I read all the Little House books, all about Laura and her sister and her family. And it was very interesting to see how they lived way back then. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when a new story has been posted. And be sure to share with all your friends. Bye-bye for now.